What's going on, YouTube? This is DJ Conscientious from ConscientiousSound.com coming at you with another episode of From the Bench to the Booth. That's right, from the workbench to the DJ booth. It's been a few episodes since I've seen you, but I gotta say it's because the Easy Ice Spark Machine has been so successful, haven't had a chance to do any new videos. If you haven't seen it, go to EasyIceFog.com, best fog machine on the market, remote control, blows the Nimbus away. And it's much cheaper than the Nimbus, so check it out. Today, the project we're gonna do, is gonna show you how to turn your PAR lights into battery par powered PAR lights, okay? So the light that I chose is the 86 LED RGB. And the reason I chose this for number one is it's very inexpensive. You can go on eBay or AliExpress, and if you buy like 20 of these, it's less than $20 each. But you can also apply this to other power lights that plug in. So uh, let's do it. All right, so what you're gonna need for this project is of course your power light. You're gonna need a, a battery pack, rechargeable batteries, a connector for your battery pack. To, it's got your matching 9 volt type connector and a DC uh, male plug here on the end. You need a female plug adapter, wall adapter, and a female to female connector. So what we're going to do first is take our light apart. Slides right out. See that? So you got your power adapter, your power circuit board, I'm sorry, and your light control board. Okay, with any PAR light that you disassemble, you want to verify the voltage that you're working with. Alright? Alright, so we're going to plug this in. We're gonna take our voltmeter. We're gonna verify the voltage coming from the power supply board. All right. So that says 11.75 volts. All right. So that's what we're working with. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue to take this apart. And snip our wires. Disconnecting the power connector cable right here. All right, now if you want to save a little money. This is the power supply circuit board. You could reconnect this to your power cable here, all right? And then just reconnect your um, connector here. You'd have to maybe enclose this in a large shrink wrap or a circuit box. I just chose to get a wall adapter. I didn't feel like going through the trouble of doing this, but you can save yourself some money and do this if you want. So what the idea of what we're going to do is place this battery power pack in place of the wall uh, circuit board adapter that was already inside. Okay. Uh, 
Let's assemble our battery pack here. These are double A rechargeable. Your double A rechargeables come at 1.2 volts. Your over the counter regular uh, alkaline double A's are 1.5 volts. So it takes it takes 10 rechargeable double A's to get up to 12 volts. Hopefully that's what we'll see once we get this assembled and double check our voltage. Voltage 12.29, 12.30. All right, 12 volts. So we're good to go. power adapter here. Simple as that, right? Alright. Now, we're going to have to switch out the connector that we have right here. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is just solder this female DC power plug to the connectors right here. We're gonna take our female power in. We're gonna plug this in, and we want to verify our connect our, uh, our end leads, what's negative and what's positive. So when we connect it to the circuit board, we don't make any any mistakes. All right. So the voltmeter is showing the wire here with the with the dashed line. Is the positive? Let me double check that. All right. All right. And you may not be able to see it here, but there's an indicator on the circuit board of which is negative and which is positive. All right. connector so if we wanted to run it on the from the wall we'll be able to get the same thing there you go all right so how are we gonna close this up well we're gonna hot glue this in place maybe like right here like that right up under Take our hot glue. Hot glue is amazing. I love hot glue. Comes in so handy for crafts. Hot glue is uh, it's very secure for things like this, but. Um, you know, like when we need to remove this to maybe replace some batteries or something, it's not hard to it's not hard to take a loose. I'll take this excess wire here and tie a wrap around it.
take this and put it back inside. So on the back here, we're just gonna have my little loose connections where I can plug these in or when I'm ready to charge the battery, plug that in, the female connector into that, other connector here, and then plug my wall adapter in, plug my wall adapter in and charge the battery. So there we go. That's your battery part light. We'll put our little legs back on here. Or actually, you can almost lay it. You actually can lay it flat now. See that? Battery part. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do the rest of these. I'll take them outside tonight, and we'll show you what that looks like. All right, this is just a little preview of the power lights that we converted to battery. As you can see, they look just fine. Great effect. Less than twenty dollars, even after the conversion, maybe, hmm, maybe a total of uh, thirty dollars each. Those little parts are very inexpensive. All right, then you get a look at the lights outside. Nice blue color. I'm telling you, for the price, you can't beat these. These are great. So far I've gotten about five hours out of the battery power. And that was right out of the box. I didn't let them charge. So we're gonna let them charge overnight, see what they can do, see how long they'll go. So that's pretty much it. Here's a, you got five of five of the par lights finished up. You can see the connections on the back for the battery. Have another five over here that's charging. We're gonna let these charge overnight. And make some battery powered par lights for under $30 each. Hey, can't beat that. It's Conscientious Sound, DJ Conscientious. We'll see you next time.